Namaste everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and today I want to talk about the waves of energy that have been going through and how that affects us in the future. But first, I want you guys to pay really close attention to this short video I'm going to play. And it's from Esoteric Agenda by Ben Stewart and it's featuring Greg Braden who talks about the codons in our DNA Pay close attention and I'll be right back to show you what this means. There are only two emotions that humankind experiences, fear and love. All other emotions branch either directly or indirectly from these two emotions. Fear has a long and slow frequency vibration to it, while love has a very rapid and high frequency. To show that vibration is the very foundation of existence, Hans Jene developed what is known as cymatics in the 1940s to show that when vibrations of sound are passed through a form of media, there is a set pattern that will follow. When the frequency increases, the media develops into a more complex pattern. This is precisely what is happening to our Earth and to humanity. There are 64 possible codes of amino acids in our DNA structure made from four elements, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. By any means of logic, we should have all 64 codes activated within our DNA structure. Yet we presently only have 20 active codes. And of these 64 possibilities, it appears that only 20 of these codes are turned on right now for us, the 20 amino acids. There is a switch that turns off and turns on where those coding sites lie and that the switch uh, for that turning off and turning on is what we call emotion. And This is the first time that we've ever seen the patterns of emotion directly physically linked to human genetic material. Well fear is a long slow wave of emotion. So this wave of fear is a long slow wave and touches relatively few sites on this DNA. So an individual living in fear is limited to the number of antenna that they have available to them. Whereas an individual uh, living in the pattern of love, this is love in DNA. You can see it's, it's a higher frequency, shorter uh, wavelength. We have many more potential sites for coding uh, along that genetic pattern. This information, this is amazing. This is the first time we've ever had a hard digital link between emotion and genetics. Oh, welcome back. I hope you paid close attention. As Greg Braden mentioned, there's only 20 of the 64 codons in our DNA turned on. So if somebody can figure out how to turn on the remaining 44 codons in their DNA, they can do anything. So what's happening right now with these waves of energy is that they're enabling the possibility of our codons being turned on. But the, the catch is you have to earn it. And all you have to do is work in humanity's best interest. Raise your vibration. Do good things. You know, like I've, I've always said about all religious texts should be four words. Love everyone. Respect everything. That's all you really need to do. But the reason for this is that if all of the codons in everyone's DNA was turned on at the same time, what would happen? I mean, think about some of these world leaders that would just, just want to push buttons all over the place about nuclear war and keeping us locked in subservience, control and conformity. Is that something you want or is that something that has to be earned? Think about that. So what's going to happen is slowly these codons are going to turn on. They're going to light up. And as you're raising your vibration, you're going to get more and more abilities and uh, it's going to happen probably to those who are more metaphysical than anything else. Uh, you're going to see probably a lot of people who are living in fear, whether that's fear of the biblical God or fear of their government, fear of whatever. They're going to be kind of lagging behind. But the good thing is, is that everyone is open to this. Everybody can move up and turn on all the codons in their DNA unlock uh, their DNA strands. Everyone has this opportunity, but you have to be working in humanity's best interest in order for this to actually kick in and start getting these abilities. It's kind of like a safeguard against people using it for the wrong reasons. So keep that in mind. 
what's going to be happening? We're going to see more and more of these waves coming in. These waves that have been coming in recently, it's not just a one-time wave. It's perpetual. They keep coming and coming and coming. So we're going to see more and more of these waves, waves coming through. And what we're going to see are people starting to gain these abilities in the near future. So it's really exciting times ahead. So make sure that you're working on yourself. Stay grounded. Get outside and connect with nature. Do good things for other people. Uh, just continue working on raising your vibrations and uh, start reporting back. Tell me what's going on in your life. Let me know if these uh, changes are happening in your life and I'll let you know as well from my end. That's it for now. This is Greg from N5D.com.